welcome to this newest segment of this adventure, which is post semester MC vlog. Yes, friend. This is Violet. You wanna say where? I'm Violet. Um, I'm from California, and I came out here to go on an adventure with these little lit videos. So um, we have just left London, which, in case you were not aware, that is the United Kingdom. And it is so expensive. <laughs> Freaking so expensive. We're there for like not even three days and it was very draining on the budget. Um, so a couple things about London is that um, British English and American English are not the same and they have a lot of slang words that we do not have. Uh, Laker, chips and means fries. Chips means fries and crisps means chips. chips. You say the word pants, that means underwear. So if you want to actually talk about pants, you have to say trousers. And oh, bollocks. That refers to balls. And oh, like bin. And we did like mostly touristy things. We went to Big Ben and kind of saw like Mr. Abbey. And we went up the London Eye, which was cool. Except it's, it was really hot. Because it's like a I like little it. glass bubble, except like Ferris wheel, and so um, the sun just kind of like beating down on you, like sauna the whole time you're in there. But we ate fish and chips. Kind which of. is like anticlimactic, yeah, yeah. to be honest. Yeah, I feel like people make a really big deal out of fish and chips, and it was like, I would, I don't know, I would need to use like good to describe it. It's just like, just like they're like that was right. I'm like happy like that we did it for the cultural experience. Yeah. Um, whenever you're about to like see something cool, there's giant like British flags. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like huge, like huge British flags up on the street. And so that's how you would know, like, okay, we're about to see something very British. Buckingham Palace. Because the flags are like bigger than human. They're like, flags. They're, like six feet up and down. We are actually in Croatia right now. And we're actually Branded at a bus station because Typical. our bus of course. is late. So um, I guess talk to you after the Croatia. We just finished a whole bunch of countries. Ah. Right now we are actually filming this from a beautiful park in Zurich, Switzerland. And um, before we got here, we went to Croatia, and then we went to Austria, Vienna, Austria, and then we got here. So, Croatia was the first on <laughs> the airplane who yeah. told us of some cool places to go, and so we went to Split instead, which ended up being super awesome. Yeah. And uh, we stayed at what I'm pretty sure was the coolest hostel ever. Oh, yeah, awesome. Um, yes, it was so. like this woman's apartment, and like all of her guests who come through like paint something on the wall, so the walls are covered in like messages from all of these different people who have stayed with her. Super cool. Stayed with her. Super cool. And she goes by the name Ladybird. Uh, I'm friends with her on Facebook. So if that, if you didn't know anything else, that's really all you need to know about how cool she is. And Croatia was like such a beautiful country. Uh, it was all on the water. So we found some cliffs and we went cliff diving. It was awesome. It was Super like fun. jumping into a pool. That's how clear it was. But yeah. it was also kind of cold at the same time. Also freezing because it's not quite summer yet. <laughs> the Kirka National Park and saw the waterfall. That was super cool. It was like this huge waterfall complex and it was beautiful and majestic. Oh, yeah. Croatia. We also learned one word in Croatian and that word was Havala. Havala. Thank you. Um, I didn't even know that. So that's all we got. <laughs> so we had kind of a rough start in Austria because we hadn't slept at all on our train the night before and we were very confused because um, some of the streets in Vienna like it starts out as one street and then a little way through the name changes and then a little way through the name changes again but it's the same street. So we had a very difficult time figuring got lost out for a while. how to get to our hostel and we were very tired and grumpy and just like really not feeling it. Um, but then we finally checked in and we made friends, well I made friends with the receptionist and <laughs> um, he hated me <laughs> for some reason. I don't know. but. Um, Things got a lot better after that. There's two like huge 
churches that are really famous in Vienna, and one is Karlsplatz and one is Stephensplatz. So we named them Stephen and Kevin because should have named him Carl. A little easier to say, but um, Stephen and Kevin were really cool. We got to go inside both, yeah. and uh, uh, so. older than the United States of America, <laughs> which is impressive. We had a lot of gelato. Oh, oh so yeah. much gelato. So like, like multiple times a day. Uh, like it's delicious. Uh, we also went to the Habsburg Palace. Mm -hmm. um, I don't we know had a what the there. actual German name of that is, but um, it's a huge palace and it's also very, very old. And um, we walked down and we had a picnic there. And um, we they had also Nutella. have like a, a walkway that's just covered in flowers. And Lilacs, it's like one of everywhere. the most beautiful places to visit, like in Austria. So we went to that and that was really cool. Um, we went to an amusement park yeah. and we went along this awesome swing that like it's kind of like those swings where you sit and you like spin but this one went like literally to the top of the city so you could see everything which was awesome yeah the amusement park itself uh, is pretty weird it's called like Prater or something it was, it was like that. weird I don't know um, and there's lots of like scary clowns and really creepy things Demons. like all over it and we also decided that um, everything is scarier when it's spoken in German just because yeah. it sounds scary. just we went to Switzerland so we spent some of our time here in Zurich and we spent some of our time in Luchern and um, Zurich we met up with our friend Vlad who you may remember from the Myanmar vlog because he is my best friend and um, he's super cool he lives here so he um, like showed us around and took us to his school and everything and that was really fun and we also went on a hike it was so that was very beautiful. So long. It's very it was, long. It was really fun. We hiked up the entire yeah, side of Zurich, but and you could really see fun. like all of everything. Yeah, you could see the whole thing. Like all, <laughs> all of everything. You could see the whole world. That's right. You could see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The entire continent. Of <laughs> and after that, we went to Beijing. Oh, yeah. 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 And when we were in Brumen, we were we went paragliding. Woo! We literally got off the train. Some guy picked us up from hair. the train, and He's he was like, nice. "All right, get in the car." Who take automatically your, get all your knew stuff. who we were. Yeah, which, which I guess weird. is kind of reasonable because I'm sure we stand out. Yeah. But um, he like picked us up, <laughs> took us to the the, the mountain. flying point, yeah. if you will. We took a we gondola. Took a cable, yeah, took a cable car up to the top, and then when you like paraglide. Um, you start on the ground on the top of like a hill and you just get your parachute all ready and then you start running and then eventually you're still running but there's no ground underneath you and you're just like in the air. And it's like um, a metaphor for life. <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah, that can get really deep. But, um, yeah, I don't know. It was really cool. It, was, it wasn't scary at all. It was very relaxing. Super you, like, fun. You don't really go very fast. And you're sitting in like a seat. Yeah, you're like upright and you kind of just glide around and it's really nice. Um, things that we have noticed in Europe, which is really nice, is that um, most public transportation kind of uses like the honor system. So like there's like you can easily get on and off all of the trains and buses and subways and all of that, um, and you don't need to like show a ticket or anything like that. You literally just walk on. But um, there's like officers who can check, and if you are found without a pass or a ticket, then they will fine you. So. Um, we've been choosing to use passes every single time. Yeah, we always use passes. Always we don't, get, we don't get on the train or the bus if we, we don't have a pass. Because yeah. that would be wrong. We're, and that would be stealing. Yeah. Another fun thing that we've learned about Europe is that dogs are everywhere. Um, they are on the subway. They are in restaurants. They are on trains. They're literally everywhere. Uh, Next, we are headed to Paris. Yeah, Paris. So, we need to lose all our money. <laughs> Après Paris. Adios. <laughs>